The dunes on the Sefton coast between Southport and Seaforth form the largest undeveloped dune system in the UK. These 22 miles of sand dunes are home to some unique and sensitive wildlife. Back from the Brink, Gems in the Dunes project aimed to ensure that this wildlife and the dune habitat they call home would continue to thrive. But the project's lead partner, Amphibian and Reptile Conservation, couldn't do this alone. Delivering Gems in the Dunes has been a truly collaborative effort involving the local authority, Sefton Council, landowners like the National Trust and a crew of passionate local volunteers. As a result, Back From the Brink has been able to deliver much more than if every partner had been acting alone. Carrying out regular surveys has allowed the project team to understand the density and breadth of population of key species here in the dunes and to see how they've changed over time. And it's here that our team of volunteers have been invaluable. Walking on sand dunes searching for greenish lizards amongst green vegetation isn't easy. But many keen eyes made for light work and we've been able to build up a database of our sand lizard territories. As with our other target species, this kind of data has enabled us to plan where and when to carry out vital habitat management work. At first glance, the Sefton dunes may look pristine, but we've been in a constant battle to control invasive species here. Our volunteers have been central in helping us to stop sea buckthorn from spreading. Throughout the winter months we clear things like invasive uh, species like sea buckthorn from the sand dunes. Uh, the reason we do that is because during the summer months it can be used by nesting birds um, and also we don't want to disturb any of our species like the sand lizards and the natterjack toads while we're carrying out the work. This whole area that we're stood in was really good for sand lizards but in recent times it's been encroached by sea buckthorn which is a really invasive species. Um, so what we've done is we've cleared a huge area and that will open up the sand dune habitat, allow native plants to grow, open up areas of bare sand, and then sand lizards can use them for basking, for egg laying, for hunting. Um, and then throughout the summer months, when the weather's a little bit nicer, we come back and we survey regularly. And hopefully what we'll see is we'll see sand lizards start to colonise or recolonise this area that we've been clearing of sea buckthorn. Having a local force for volunteers who really know and care about their local environment is vital to the project. Some habitat improvement work is far too big for hand tools though. Freshwater ponds are scattered throughout the dunes here and they are home to newts, dragonfly larvae and natterjack toads. We have worked with contractors to keep these ponds at just the right depth so that this important population of natterjack toads can continue to spawn here. People use Sefton for walking their dogs and for sunbathing, but this is so much more than just a beach. These dunes are home to an array of incredible species that require quite specific conditions to exist. Back from the Brink has invited schools, artists, photographers and filmmakers to amplify the case for protecting this stretch of coastline. We hope that the more that people know about it, the more that people will want to save it. <laughs>